Mike Williams, the senior umpire there, couldn't be in safer hands in this semi-final of the Princess Royal Challenge Cup, Lisa Sheenard against Laura Wheeler. And they're off these smaller and rocky boats coming out the start. Both crews, both women absolutely using their legs well. The stroke rates are high. You can hear the umpire's launch. It's accelerating. And up to the beginning of the island, you can see that Laura Wheeler, she's gone out high. She's gone out hard because she'll be wanting to get a steer on this Lisa Sheenard, who came 12th in the World Championships last year. What an opportunity for Laura Wheeler, Tom. I think it is. I think uh, uh, today is very tough uh, conditions. I've literally just come from the uh, finish line. And looking down the course, you can see the beginning is very deceptive. You've got the shadow of the island, and the water's quite calm. But as you get towards the end of the course, it's very blustery, big, strong headwind. And what you're seeing with the crews, the crews that get it right are the ones who, early in the race, establish a strong, I'd almost say relaxed rhythm. It's quite hard. It's when, you're, when you're side by side in the semi finals, it's always difficult, it's always quite stressful. There's a lot of adrenaline, it can be quite tied up in the shoulders, but it's important to establish a strong rhythm early on so it sets you up to the later race, particularly when the conditions get, get tough. Um, and yes, this is a massive opportunity for Laura Wheeler. I mean, she's up ahead now, she's got half length. I think the trick is not to get too excited, just keep her there, don't, don't get carried away, just keep that foul ball you know, in your peripherals, but just relax, let the boat run, and just enjoy that first half of the race if, if you can. You know, let your shoulders come down, feel tall, enjoy the fact you're at Henley. And as the race develops, then you need to you'll need to squeeze on and use that extra power just because you've got that relaxation. Yeah, absolutely. Laura Wheeler, no stranger to this course. She raced at Henley Women's Regatta just two weeks ago, winning the elite single on that occasion, Fantastic. booking her place here at the regatta. And it's great to see her grab that opportunity, Tom, because this is a fantastic start for the Nottingham Rowing Club's high-performance athlete. It is, and you know, when you get opportunities like that, you've got to take them. Um, they don't come along always very often, and like you said, knowing the course, being someone who's, who's raced here previously, side by side racing is very different to six lane racing. It's much more personal. Six lane racing, you can always just focus on what you're doing and forget the opposition to a certain extent. Here, it's just win or lose, and it doesn't matter whether you're, um, you know, you've got a good start and you can just sort of focus up to a thousand meters and you can do your own thing after a thousand. It's all about what you're doing in comparison to the opposition. So that's why it's so important to have your own strategy, particularly when in these difficult conditions. It's just to you know, get composure early on in the race. And actually come under a little bit more pressure, not to get worried, not to get too stressed, just rely on your rhythm and your sort of confidence of sitting up tall and you know, once you come into the head and just sit back a little bit more, get a bit more sand. Um, but as she's getting under a little bit of pressure here, she's gonna have to keep composed, a little bit of wash comes in, things get upset, then you've still got to keep that sort of positive, you know, looking forward towards the end of the race attitude. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that is the unique thing here at Hendy Roragati. You get the crowds, you get the crews on the water, and the water is quite lively. And today in that headwind, every time a um, wash comes across, it will popple the water up a little bit more. But look at this. We've got a fantastic semi-final here. Lisa Sheenard, she's made up that ground that Laura Wheeler took in the start. But look at that. Here we go. Lisa Sheenard, perhaps showing her international class there. She raced um, here in the regatta before as part of the Dutch National 8. We saw her last year in the 8. She's come back here this year in the single. And, you know, Tom, what will she be thinking now? Well, I think um, you can sort of see and over the top here, she's quite relaxed. This, you know, it doesn't look hurried. I mean, I can assure you she's working very hard. I think mean, the trick about good sculling and maybe someone who's been around the international circle a little bit longer is you, you know what good feels like. You know what comfortable you know, in the middle of the race, when you've got to be working hard, but at the same time letting the boat just run I and mean, use the recovery for what it is, that stressful point where you're side by side, having that bit of extra experience, I think, is you know what's paying off at the moment. It's just letting the boat just run a little bit longer. You know, single skulls is not about not about rate, not about trying to work it too hard. Um, it's about feel. It's about when you collect the boat, you know, giving it the right amount of 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 uh, acceleration, but not to hurry it, not to force it, um, particularly when you've got this sort of pressured scenario. You're side by side in the semi-final, you know, you've got to get through to, to try and get to that win. It doesn't matter what happens. Uh, you know, if you don't get through the semi-final, then okay, fine, you've, you've had a good Henley, but 
getting to the final tomorrow is the absolute key. Um, yeah. And that's the chance for them to uh, win the title. Yeah, absolutely. And actually, what we're looking here is two crews that are doing different strategy on rate. We've got Lisa there at about 29 and a half strokes a minute. That's slightly longer stroke. And then Laura in the, in the boat that's on the top of the course she was at 32 so she is giving it absolutely everything she could but what we're looking now there is Lisa Schienard she's 26 years of age she has been rowing since 2008 and right now she is going to be um, I think booking her place in the final tomorrow Tom she looks uh, it's just really good relaxed sculling and in a headwind Okay, the boat needs to be lively, you can't let it get heavy, but at the same time, you can't force it, you can't be up in the shoulders, you can't be trying to stamp on the front end. Just nice, relaxed rowing, and now she's got a margin, now she can just keep easing away. Okay, not, not thinking ahead to the final too much yet, still need to get the race finished, um, but it's just it's a good opportunity just to sort of sit at all, make sure everything's correct, you know, keep working on the same rhythm so that for tomorrow, you can sort of you've got a platform to build on yeah and absolutely look at these wonderful shots you've got the two athletes in the water we're looking there now at laura wheeler nottingham rowing club she has done everything she can to hold on to this very experienced dutch international woman but right now she is uh, a little bit off the pace and i would say that she has done her work for today she will work all the way to the yeah. end but you see the international woman um, who is ahead but it's a tough one. I mean, this is this is uh, the, the tricky thing when it comes to side-by-side -side racing. What do you do if you are the underdog coming in and you're up against an international, someone's more seasoned, you've got to try and put them under pressure early on. You've got to try and offset what they're going to do to disrupt what, you know, is, is obviously good rowing and, you know, going to someone who can is probably a little bit stronger, a bit more experienced, able to deal the conditions. So she did the right thing. Try to go off harder, get ahead, put a little bit of pressure, try and establish some sort of pressure early on in the race. If she'd just got off soft and let the international lady lead straight off, it wouldn't have been a race at all. So at least she you know, stuck something in early on. I think she'll be very proud of getting to the semi-finals and making sure that she you know, had the best race she probably could, possibly could. And this is the amazing opportunity here at Henny Roragata. In these small boat events, you can find yourself lining up against some of the best in the world. This event is interesting. We have Nat Kova in it. She's Olympic yep. champion. She has been Princess Royal Challenge Cup champion before. In fact, four times before. And she is going for her fifth um, result. Maybe she has her semi-final later on today. She's not yet booked herself into the final, but it looks like it will be Lisa Schienard who is going to meet whoever is in that final. And right now, I think Lisa, she'll be looking to conserve some energy. She's done her work in that second minute, third, fourth minute of the race. She's ahead now, and look at that relaxation on the athlete. Yeah. This week here, Nat Kova. Nat Kova is obviously a very seasoned athlete, very, when she races, very mature racing. She's always, is always very deceptive. She underrates the opposition so much, so it's quite, <laughs> I think as a commentator, it's quite hard to call because you never know whether she's whether she's struggling or she's just underrating, and that's what she normally does. Yeah. Um, but that's what you can do in singles. You can, you've got a big turn of pace, and you know it's about you as an individual how you want to approach a, your strategy, what you're comfortable doing. You don't have to worry about having a crew where you've got to have a, a plan to start with, and you've got to stick to it, and then you've got to react and have that, that level of communication. Um, so you see a lot of different tactics, and that cover is a very interesting scholar because of that. She underrates the opposition often. She's very powerful. Um, it's a very good example of good sculling, it's being able to let the boat run. That's exactly what we're seeing here, it's, it's just moving the boat, e boat easily along, it doesn't look like you're working too hard, and that's the deceptive nature, it's yeah. letting the boat run, just gliding all the way out so you get a nice long stroke, you're able to use the legs, lever them through, and then just send the boat away. And there we see it, the crowds in the bars, the crowds in the deck chairs, and what they're looking at is Lisa Skeenard, she is winning this race of the Princess Royal Challenge Cup. It's semi-final stay here at Henley Royal Gaza. You can see the crowds are turning up. The weather is kind to us again today. It is beautiful with these shots. You can see the members in the floating stand, the stewards guests down below them, and they are all here applauding the efforts of these two women. We have Lisa Skeenard there. She's coming through the line. She's done her work for the day. She will be in the final later on and the crowds will also be acknowledging the work of Laura Wheeler, the Nottingham Rowing Club athlete.
Lisa Skeenard there. Boat number 522, one of 547 boats, I think, in this year's regatta. Mm. Lisa Skeenard, she'll be meeting either Nat Kova or Van der Moulin, who raced in this final later today.